Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, it's getting close to winter time here, definitely fall. And down across the bottom here, my weather stripping is toast. Um, it's let air in all last year. We were putting like towels across there and stuff to try and keep the air out. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that and I figure I'd take you along for the ride. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to take all my pins out of my door. I'm start with this the bottom door. pin down here. And I got just a little punch here, and I can punch it up from the bottom. And I assumed that there was going to be some screws down here on the bottom of the door. And I assumed incorrectly, I could have just taken a screwdriver or even my finger. And this just has a groove down here in the bottom, two grooves actually. Uh, there. And uh, it just pops up in there. So, so now we have this one but this one you can put it on there as you can see it's way I think you can see yeah it's way too long so we're gonna have to cut this I don't one know if down. you can see this but there's little holes where the screws are gonna go and I've lost the screws in this package I've actually had this since last year um, I was thinking I was gonna have to cut a little bit off of both sides so that you know the holes were right but I'm just gonna go ahead and put another screw in here and just cut this off. So I'm going to mark this and, and go cut it. What I'm going to do, these have slotted holes here. And uh, I got some, this is a metal door, in case you couldn't tell already. Um, I got some self drilling uh, screw head or screws here. Like I said, I don't know what this will come with. If it's, it'll be wood screws or metal screws or what. Um, and like I said, I've lost what it did come with. So. But even though these are self-drilling, I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole because with this slot, I wanna make sure I'm right at the bottom of it so that if I'm finding that this isn't seating down far enough or this starts wearing down, um, then I have some movement to adjust it further down as time goes on and make it tighter. Um, so I just, I wanna make sure that hole is in a specific spot and sometimes with the self-drilling screws you tend to wobble around but right now I'm making sure it's as far up on the door as it can go and I'm going to start like I said right down here at the bottom of that and start the hole I'm going to do that with all of them obviously and then get it adjusted and then at the end I might throw another screw in here I don't know I think it's probably close enough we'll see if I have a problem with it I'll probably throw another screw in up here now I did cut this with uh, I started out with some sheet sheet metal uh, shears that I had um, and it cut the sides fine but down here it didn't cut so well so I used a hacksaw to finish it off something in hindsight I would have probably done is took a razor blade and cut straight across here these are sticking out a little ways, which actually I kind of, you know, maybe even would have cut them at more of an angle so that the flap here would, uh, you know, kind of pinch in at the front of the door. This is where the air always ends up leaking for some reason on every door I own. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get these screwed in. Go ahead. And that's all done. Uh, I don't see any real sun. I see a little bit of maybe gap there. Um, so I may actually push this down a little bit and, and put that in. But more, it's just that, that edge piece. I need to put some uh, foam tape stuff or whatever in this uh, side of the door over here a little bit maybe. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's sitting pretty flush with the bottom down there so that's good and time will tell whether air will get through there or not I may have to push it down a little bit if it does but it seems to brush along there pretty pretty well so I'm happy with the fit for now uh, we can always adjust later if we need to all right this is Sam jack of all master none you all have a good one